on the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Come on! Let's pick up the pace! Come on! Are you saving the best for last? I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland! Would you like me to slow down? Yeah. Come on, boy! This sure beats milk and cows! Jingle those spurs, Miss McFarland! How you doing back there? How are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzer food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. Admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to argue with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your 
your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Tell me where you live. I have a small holding up a great plain. A farmer? Yeah. And I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Hey, mister. You need something for that? Why, thank you. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? <clears throat> I got me one. The saloon's this way. Who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Blow it down there, Marston. Ain't a race. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him.